Hello, my name is Jim Webster, and I am going to walk you through an iDev Affiliate installation. This is, of course, for our owned customers. Um, if you have purchased the owned edition of iDev Affiliate, you're going to install it into your own web hosting account. Um, it's very similar to, let's say, a WordPress installation, for instance, if you've ever done a WordPress install. Um, if you're ordering the leased version and you're leasing monthly from us, of course, we do your installation for you. Um, and we host and, and do basically everything for you. So th this video won't pertain to you. Um, but if you are an owned license holder and need to do your installation, this is the video. So the first thing you wanna do is once you're logged into your account on our website, after you've completed your purchase, you're looking at something that looks similar to this. Um, so you're gonna click on my packages, you'll get to this page, click view details next to your order, and then click the downloads tab. Um, so here, this is a black edition. Um, so if we click on this, that's going to start our download. Once we've downloaded the zip package to our local hard drive, we're going to unzip it. So I'm going to bring this, uh, our FTP browser in from another screen here. And we're going to assume it's now been unzipped. It's now on our local hard drive and it's in a folder called IDEV affiliate. So what we want to do now is we want to upload these files, uh, via FTP to our current web hosting account. So um, log into your web hosting account and what we can do is we can actually just take this entire folder here and drop it right on top of our root folder. Um, now this happens to be a cPanel server, so that's called public HTML. That might look different on your web hosting account. Um, consult your web hosting provider or your server admin. They can tell you what your root folder is or where you need to be creating your item affiliate folder. Now, if you wanna name this something else, you're more than welcome to. You can do it a different way. You can just say new folder and you can say partners, for instance. Now what you can do is just take all of the files here. I hit control A to select them all. Now I'm just gonna drag and drop them onto the partners folder. So it's however you wanna do it. For this uh, demonstration, I'm just gonna drag and drop the entire IDEV affiliate folder to the root. So while these, fold, these files are uploading, what we wanna do is we need to create a MySQL database. And to do that, we do that in our web hosting um, control panel, which again, this happens to be a cPanel server. So um, if you're using cPanel, you're gonna see something that looks very similar to this. If you're not, um, if you're using web, Webmin or, you know, there's, there's several uh, control panels out there, that it's gonna look different. So. Again, consult your web hosting provider. They can help you create a MySQL database if you aren't familiar with how to do that. With cPanel, um, you wanna come down here and I just go to the, the MySQL uh, wizard and I'll name my um, database IDEV Affiliate. And now I need to create a username for the database and I'm gonna say IDEV and we'll use affiliate as the password. So now that we've created the username and the, the database, we need to assign privileges for the user to the database. This user needs all privileges and this is very important. What can happen is you create your database, you create your user and you assign the user to the database, but you don't, if you don't give the user privileges to the database, you're, you're basically, you're not gonna be able to do anything. We can connect to the database, but we can't do anything once we're connected. We need to be able to do all of these different activities. So give it all privileges, hit next step. So we've created our database and we're now waiting for files to upload, which is currently gonna take some time. So I'm gonna let these files upload and we'll be right back with a completed set and we'll continue on from there. Okay, we're back and our file upload is complete. We can verify that by clicking on the IDEV affiliate folder and we can see all of these files here look like all of these files here. So the first thing we wanna do now is in a web browser, we wanna to go to our installation location. So in this case, it is at idevtutorials.com forward slash idev affiliate slash install. So we're going into our installation process. It's gonna be step by step. And the first thing that it's asking us for is our license key. So over in our uh, account, we were on downloads when we got our, our download. Um, 
in the downloads tab. So to get our license, just click on the licenses tab and you'll see our license key here. Just go ahead and highlight it. And it's the complete license. Whether you have standard uh, gold, platinum or black, it's always gonna start with that. It's gonna start with IW Affiliate Black dash and then a bunch of numbers and, and letters. Or it'll say IW Affiliate Platinum, Gold, Standard, etc. So grab the whole entire thing and I'm just gonna copy it. I'm gonna pop it right into this box and hit paste. And just for kicks and giggles to show you if you, if you don't grab the whole thing, you'll see the error that pops up. It just says it's an invalid license. So let's put the whole thing in and it'll accept it. So license key accepted. We just continue to the next step. Now here you may need, you may be asked to set some folder permissions. Um, this particular server, we already have the servers, the um, permission set. So there's nothing for us to do here, but this might be asking you to set um, folder permissions to be writable. And if that's the case, just go ahead and do that. Once that's done, um, and you can keep refreshing the page until these come up as saying writable as they do now. Continue to the next step. Here we're gonna plug in our database information. Remember the database we created in cPanel. So this is our database here. I'm just gonna highlight, copy it. I'm gonna pop our database name in here. This particular server, the host remains localhost. Sometimes that'll be an IP address. It might be a domain name. Um, and it might be a long string, um, you know, uh, GoDaddy, for instance, is going to be a, a much longer string that they give you. So if you um, aren't sure on the database host, contact your web hosting provider, your server admin, and they can certainly help you. Um, I happen to know our username was iDev, so I'm just going to chop that off to make it quick. And our password was affiliate. Now for kicks and giggles, I'm going to put in a wrong just so you can see what the error is. No connection could be made. That's because these, these settings are incorrect. And you may run into that. Um, and the most common reason that you might run into that a lot of times is sometimes people will leave off this prefix here. You know, they created the database called IDEV Affiliate and the username called, called IDEV. So this is the settings that they try to use and it doesn't work. With cPanel and several other servers, you actually have to use the uh, there's a prefix that comes with um, your database. So I think it was I have affiliate. I think that was the the uh, prefix. So if we submit, you'll notice it now says database connection was successful. So we're just going to continue through the next steps and this is going to do everything for us. Install the database. Now this can take some time. It depends on your uh, the speed of your server and your connection that went pretty quick so letting us know 96 tables were created sometimes that might say 90 some, some will say 88 it just depends on the the addition that you purchased um, as to how many tables are created continue to the next step and this is one of the last steps here is to create ourselves a username and a password for our admin center so i'm just going to say temp temp and i'm going to say temp at idevdirect.com so create my login, account's been created, that's good. And now we're on our post installation steps. Our installation is actually complete at this point. Um, so what it's asking us to do is a couple things. First of all, we need to get rid of the install folder. Um, it, I, the admin center won't run with the install folder. So you can either delete this or just simply rename it. I would prefer to see you rename it um, for now just to make sure the installation is right, make sure there wasn't any glitches or hiccups. Um, once you've verified everything's running, um, we can always come back and delete it later off the server if you want. So I'm just gonna rename that to something else. Um, and then the next thing it's asking, it says we can remove the right permissions from the API folder if we want it this time. And again, this is something that you can do um, on your own if you want. Um, if you need help setting permissions on a folder, Go ahead and contact your web hosting provider or your server admin. They can certainly help you do that. Um, and then the next thing is, of course, to write down your username and your password that you created for your admin center. Now, the next step is to actually log in to IDEV Affiliate. And there's two sections of IDEV Affiliate. You've got your affiliate control panel. That's the public side of your affiliate program. This is where um, the public goes to uh, sign up, log in, 
get links, check statistics, all that kind of stuff. So um, this is your affiliate control panel. Everything looks good. All of our language is in. All of our default content is in. So this inst installation looks really good at this point. So that's your front end. You can close that down for now. Actually, you know, while you're here, go ahead and bookmark this. Um, put this in your favorites so you've got a, a bookmark of the front end of your affiliate program because you're eventually going to want to link to it from your website, you know, with a uh, click here to join our affiliate program type of link. So uh, go ahead and book link, bookmark this while you have a chance. And then um, the next thing you want to do is log into your admin center for the first time. And again, bookmark this location as well. So we usually use our, our the login that we just created during install, which was admin and temp was my password I chose. So I'm gonna hit log me in. And I've now logged into my IDEV affiliate admin center for the very first time. So from here, the next step you wanna do is watch the introduction video. That's gonna give you an idea of um, how this admin center works, talks about your menuing uh, system, how to get help, stuff like that. Um, once that you're familiarized with the admin center, you're gonna go over here to the start here uh, video and that's gonna actually walk you through the quick setup guide, which is the top 10 steps to configuring IDEV affiliate. So other than that, your installation is complete. It really was that simple. It shouldn't take much more than about five to 10 minutes to actually complete the installation. Um, and from here, it's just a, a matter of walking through your configuration steps.